What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. So we're going to be talking about this new report that just came out that Hollywood assistants are very, very angry, very, very upset over their low pay, over the slave-like labor that their bosses, their woke bosses are putting them through in all of these different woke Hollywood companies at the same time as the bosses are projecting and pushing for diversity, equity, and inclusion in their companies, it is getting beyond ridiculous at this point. We can all see it, right? Like, as soon as June rolls around, all of these different companies start to push as hard as they can all of the LGBT stuff, all of the alphabet community stuff. They do this every single year, right? Like, this is their new thing. And then as soon as the month is over, they go back to their normal schedule and everything else. It is all just a game. It is all just a chance for these corporations to try to play off the emotions of different demographics. Obviously, in June, it is the alphabet community that they're trying to play off of. And it's very interesting because while they're doing that in America, all of these international versions of these companies, all of the like the the different like international accounts for these different social media companies, especially in countries that don't really favor or look fondly on the lgbt community they don't change their you know their profile pictures at all to represent the rainbow flag or anything else it is all just a game to them it is all just a chance for them to try to pander to different groups of people and anybody with common sense can see this. It doesn't take a genius to be able to see that this is all just pandering nonsense. It is all just self-projection and trying to continue to paint yourself in a good picture in order to try to win over some people and make some extra bucks. For decades, Hollywood assistants have endured low pay, grueling hours, and degrading treatment in the hopes of one day landing a cushy studio job or a seat at the writer's table of a hit show. But resentment is growing as their wealthy left-wing bosses increasingly promote diversity, equity, and inclusion in public while keeping their underlings in a form of modern day servitude which is ridiculous, but it is indeed the truth. The Daily Beast interviewed 17 current and former assistants who expressed anger and exasperation at their economic predicament. Among their grievances is the glaring hypocrisy of Hollywood's elite class who virtue signaled to the media while benefiting from cheap labor. And of course, people in Hollywood, there are so many people in Hollywood who are afraid. That is one of the things that I continue to see and hear talking to the different people that I do from Hollywood and everything else. They continue to talk about how everyone is afraid. Everyone is walking on eggshells because they know that if they speak out against their bosses, if they, you know, uh, express their true political beliefs or their true beliefs in general for anything that goes against the Hollywood narrative, then they run the risk of being blacklisted and outed from Hollywood forever. Because if you piss off one of the bosses, it is very likely that you're going to then not find any work anywhere in the entire industry, which is sad that that's what it is and that's how it works. But that is indeed how it works. Now, thankfully, there are some companies that I think are starting to gain a little bit of traction and are pushing for more pro-american patriotic type of content and one of those studios happens to be chris pratt's studio but we're gonna have to see exactly how those studios are going to work trying to work within the hollywood bubble i don't know if that's even going to be a, a thing i don't know if that's even going to be possible but i hope that more of these people will be able to continue to speak out now i'm sure that most of these people probably spoke out you know anonymously which is probably a good good thing to do because you know if they get found out then they're probably going to lose everything they're going to lose their job they're going to lose reputation they're going to lose everything these hollywood elites that are in charge of that entire industry are very brutal and they will not stop at, at anything to try to destroy you so all these people get on these panel discussions and get Hollywood Reporter and Deadline spreads about the work they're doing for diversity and inclusion, a former assistant told the Daily Beast. It's like, are you doing that for the person sitting next to you? Boom. That is in, uh, that is a great question. And this is one of my biggest frustrations with Hollywood is that they it is all hypocrisy. There is a glaring amount of hypocrisy in Hollywood. We can all see it, right? You should be able to see it. The, the amount of hypocrisy in Hollywood is astounding. And we continue to see more and more people speaking out about that. 
Rose McGowan is a great example of someone who continues to call out the corruption and the hypocrisy in Hollywood because it is ridiculous how much there really is there. There is a complete and utter double standard in Hollywood as well. It's like our, uh, an assistant of 10 years said, 10 years. It's like, if we keep you poor, then we'll always be in power. Exactly. Which is exactly what is happening in all of our major institutions in this company or in this country, not this company, <laughs> in this country. It's happening in all of them. You know, the government school system wants to continue to dumb down kids and not really give them a proper quality education. They want to keep them stupid and in control and sheep so that they can control them. The media is doing the same thing. The media is continuing to feed you lies and push to make you feel that you need the government in order to take care of you. The government is continuing to do this. Hollywood is continuing to do this. All of them are continuing to push to keep the power over you. It is all about that. It is why they continue to make and try to make black Americans feel like victims in this country so that the, the black community will continue to look towards the government to save them and the media to represent them. But they don't actually represent them. They don't actually want to save them. They just want to continue to hold power over them. Another said, you can't say you care about diversity and you care about the future of the industry if the assistants are falling through the cracks. It just doesn't make any sense. Boom. Assistant work in Hollywood is demanding and frequently demeaning, especially for those who have graduate degrees from expensive film schools. Jobs can entail the mental work of a glorified servant, like fetching, dry cleaning, and coffee, coffee and ferrying stars to and from sets. Now, of course, the low, the low pay is the worst part about it because these people really aren't making that much money, but they're holding on to hopes that someday, if they are good little people and they just continue to toe the line, that someday they can make it. Which is sad that that is the case, but that is exactly what Hollywood continues to do. Meanwhile, they continue to try to, you know, uh, push themselves and glorify themselves and try to make themselves, by virtue signaling, seem like amazing, just really moral, good, pure people. The true morals, of mor moral individuals of our of our country, like of our culture. They continue to try to push that, which is exactly what Ricky Gervais was talking about and why he was ripping Hollywood apart in his, in his speech for the, uh, for the, um, the golden globes and stuff last year. So we all see what's happening, right? We all see what's what Hollywood truly is. And I totally feel for these people. And I understand why they're so angry about Hollywood and, and their elite, left-wing woke bosses and there's a lot of this type of same stuff happening with activision blizzard right now as well so there's a lot of crazy stuff happening over there which is kind of similar to what's happening here and i hope that these people start to actually speak up against them and you know protest against them and show the world show the world that these people these bosses these elites aren't good people they aren't moral people they are corrupt. It is all just a game to, tr to try to hold power over individuals. That's all it is at the end of the day. And I hope that these brave people that are speaking out about this will actually take that next step of courage to actually out these people and show the world who these people really are. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Subscribe for new. I'd appreciate that a lot. A lot. Leave a like, a comment. That all really helps a lot. Thank you so much, everyone. And I will talk to you later.